26th. Scratch that. October 26th. In the deer blind. Hoping to put a nice doe down tonight. Or a nice buck. Either one. Be happy with both. A little bit of wind today. Temperatures was like mid to upper 40s. It's pretty cold with the wind though. So maybe they'll be on their feet. Let's see. Seen a little sick pointer on the way in. No way of getting around it. So he's booped off. But might come back around. Might not. Either way, I was going to pass on it. Hopefully, he brings in some bigger deer. So, let's get into the hunt and see what happens. this other eight pointer came out so uh, I went ahead and took a stab at the eight pointer that was a little closer and we connected but now let's see if we can find it good news and bad news bad news no arrow more bad news no blood gotta make sure I'm on the trail still however the good news and the crazy news is I found the deer still it's not the biggest buck I've ever shot by any means, but uh, I'm still really happy with it. And uh, the reason I took that deer is because I read a story right before while I was sitting there, just about being grateful for the incredible experiences that I get to participate in. And you can't eat the antlers. It's not the it's not the end of the world if you don't shoot the biggest buck, the new world record. So. Overall, even though it's by far not even close to my biggest buck I've ever shot, I'm really happy with it. And I'm gonna consider that thing a trophy, whether it's eight points or 16 points. I really don't care. I'm ecstatic with it. It's gonna fill the freezer. And I hate happening to justify sometimes why I shoot what I do. I pass on more deer than probably most people have in their life. I'm blessed to be able to hunt where I do, and I can't say thank you enough to the family that has let me come out here and participate in some of the best whitetail hunting I've ever seen. Now I'm gonna show you guys the deer in just a second, but right now I'm going back. I'm pack mule and all my stuff out of here, and I've gotta get some knives, and I got a truck on the way because I didn't drive a truck today. So that's kind of a pain. You know, the one day you don't drive a truck, you only have half your knives because you used half your knives yesterday to clean some other wild game. So it's been a heck of a past two days. Wouldn't trade it for anything. And I'm so excited to eat some backstrap and some deer chili. Because it's like 40, uh, yeah, like 45-ish right now. Heat it back up just a touch because there's not much wind, but can't wait to get over there and start getting into this deer. October 26th, earliest day I have ever shot a buck, only by one day. October 27th is actually the day I shot my biggest buck. I like early season bucks, I really do. Before the Orange Army comes out, 
even if it's smaller, I'm still ecstatic that I've got one on the ground. So far this year, I have had one other really, really nice doe come in that I was gonna put on the ground and I'll just roll the clip for you. Meh, meh, meh. As you can see, it didn't work out, but this one did. And I've got a lot of button bucks and baby does all over the dang place. Just haven't been able to make it happen. So, there we go. biggest one I've ever shot but so happy with it so here he is guys pretty happy gonna fill the freezer tons of meat back straps and deer chili I can't wait you just going for it dog hey brother what's up dude the the monster one I seen tonight was not chasing but this one was not the biggest that's not one. a bad deer good shot though it's kind of it's going like this I'm glad you called Garrett to do all the dirty work well, he ain't done. He's, doing the rest. he's the one that's just started cutting. Here, I'll help you with the front. I'll get it cut down to the belly. Then yeah, I'll quit. Billy, she wanted Don't to come cut say past, hi. probably. Does this mean that we're not going to... Um, yeah, just stab my leg, Garrett. <laughs> I'm not that bad. It's <laughs> in my <laughs> boot. Get that out of my <laughs> boot. Nope. Look at these trees right here. See them all freaking murked by antlers? Mm -hmm. God, it's going to be so I want to come shoot deers on Bick's property. Uh, it's, I have exclusive rights now, sorry. Garrett, can I have exclusive rights to your property too? <laughs> Ethan lets you. Sorry? Ethan lets you. Come on now, bud. I smoke vapes too. <laughs> I only do it when I'm drinking beer though. You find it, then use your... Follow. I don't know why he's telling me what to do. Like, this isn't my 10th <laughs> deer. Well, do it. Do it. I'd been done by that. He makes me so nervous because he's watching me like a... Holding the deer open for you. Nobody ever holds it open for me. Did you get it on video, brother? Yeah. Uh, that's why I called Garrett and I go, hey, shot a deer. He goes, great. He said, I can't find any blood and I can't find the arrow. And, and I still didn't find where anything. Where did you find it at? Right there. I still didn't see any blood until I got right here. That's what made you me go in. throat or not? Stand at. No. That's gross. My stand is my hunting blind. I've been, I is shot it on. Is your blind or Garrett's blind? Mine, I shot it on the ground. No, I bought Ethan a bunch of stands. Now he shot his deer. He won't even build them and put them up. You want a bat? Yeah, Jared's got to come out here and shoot that monster that shut Ethan didn't shoot. Up. How mad would you be on a scale of one to four? As long as I got it on video, I'd be happy. If no video, I'd be pissed. I still can't find the arrow. Garrett will find it in his tractor tire. Great. And then you <laughs> oh, it is. Let's just get it all over my coat. I'll wash it. It's fine. Oh, that's just a lot of blood. Look at that blood clot right there. Damn, you smoked him, dude. I'm surprised he even walked away from that shit. Me too. But I didn't find any blood until I got here. There's pretty minimal blood. <laughs> what? He threw space on that one. Save it and send me that shit. You don't even have the damn deer in the background. You're just making fun of me, you asshole. Well, dude, uh, dude this, I wouldn't have shot this for at least another two years. Oh, f you. <laughs> I'm happy with it. The fact that you got ducks yesterday and you got a deer today. Here. Like what I would do is I'd cut these bitches off halfway, super glue, right, and stop, make that stop. bitch stop, out here. Touch it. Okay, now Jared, shine a line. If I were you, I would try to get as much blood in the truck as possible. Okay, I gotta make a tag before we go. Well, got it done. Got the first deer of the year. Uh, Jared's got one so far, but this is my first deer of the year. So now we're going to go out and try to get hopefully one more doe this year and then potentially get him either another doe or a buck. And uh, got the year started off pretty good, October 26th. A lot of season left. 
hoping to get one with a gun. I think I'm going to put the bow away until gun season. Then we'll get back on it. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.